Welcome to my lecture online. Here's another delightful problem from the JE Advanced Test. It is an optics problem, and so let's read it together to get a feel for what it says. A large square container with thin transparent vertical walls are filled with water. Refractive index, refractive index equals 4 thirds, which is 1.33, and it's kept on a horizontal table. A student holds a thin straight wire vertically inside the water, 12 centimeters from one of its corners. Looking at the wire from this corner, another student sees two images, and the images would be like maybe right there and right there. Two images of the wire located symmetrically on each side of the line. The separation in centimeters between these two images is, so we're looking for the distance between the two images like that in centimeters. Knowing that this is 12 centimeters, this is water, the index of refraction inside is 4 thirds, and so how far would those two images be apart? At first, you look at that problem and you have no idea how to start. So, okay, how do we do that? And then secondly, there's a problem with this problem, is that we're not told how far away the observer is, and that does make a difference because of how the rays will interact inside relative to where the observer is. So I was thinking about this way. If we look at the refractive index of water and the refractive index of air above it, and we have the observer looking down straight across. When we have an object at a certain distance below the surface, the observer will see an image closer than where the object is. And so the distance to the image, as seen by the observer, is equal to 1 over the index of refraction of the water times the distance of the observer. So in this case, it would be 1 over 4 thirds, or 3 quarters the distance. So using that same example, same principle, we can then say that based upon this distance right here, below the surface, looking straight down this way, we would see the object 3 quarters the way down. So let me redraw this, I'll put it right over here, and we would see the object three quarters of the way down here, and the same on the other side, looking from this direction, we'd see the object three quarters of the way down, so there would be an image there, and there would be an image there. All right, so we can then calculate where that's going to be, and then take the distance between them. Of course, that will change if the rays have to be taken at a different angle, which is more likely the case. You can see that that would then increase this distance, and increase this distance, and then increase potentially the distance between them. But just take the simple case where you look straight down in either direction and see what that would give us. Well, first of all, we end up with a triangle, like this. It's a right triangle, like this. This is the hypotenuse, which is 12 centimeters, and we can see that the angles, therefore, because it's a symmetry, need to be 45 degrees, because it's a square which means that this distance right here would be the cosine of 45 degrees, which is 0.707, the hypotenuse. So this distance right here, the distance, is equal to 0.707 times 12 centimeters, and that would give us about 8.4, about 8.5 centimeters. So this distance, D, is about 8.5 centimeters. And then the image would be 3 quarters the way this way, all right? So that means that the image distance, let's say D image, is equal to 3 quarters of 8.5 centimeters. Now 3 quarters of 8 would be 6, and 3 quarters of 5 is 1 and a quarter. So that would be a 6 point, well, let's see here, that would be about 6.1, something like that. So about 6.1, roughly speaking, centimeters. And since this here is... 8.5 centimeters, that means that this distance here would be 8.5 minus 6.1, which would be about 2.4 centimeters. So this distance from the object to the image is 2.4 centimeters. That means this distance here is 2.4 centimeters as well. So now we have another triangle. Let's draw the triangle over here. Here's the object. Here's the image. Here's the image. This distance is 2.4 this distance is 2.4, and we're asked to find this distance right here. So, let's see here. Again, we have symmetry. We have a 45 degree angle here. We have a 90 degree angle here. We have 45 degree angle over here. 
So now we need to find this hypotenuse. So we can say that the hypotenuse, we have a relationship here, this is one of the sides, so we can say that the cosine of theta is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, or we can say that the hypotenuse is equal to the adjacent side divided by the cosine of, um, the cosine of 45 degrees. So in this case, that would be the adjacent side, which is 2.4, divided by the cosine of 45 degrees, which is 0.707. So what's 2.4 divided by 0.707? Well, 7 go, 0.7 goes into 2.4 about, well, it goes into 2.13 times, but it's a little bit bigger. So this would be about equal to about 3.1 or something like that, and that would be in centimeters. So rounding that off to the nearest centimeters, you could say that that would then be a distance of about three centimeters, and that's the answer that I would put down, because I really don't have any other way of finding the other answers by trying to draw the rays in this direction, and I'm trying to find the angle of refraction, but not knowing where the observer is, that would be kind of a difficult thing to do. You could see that, of course, if you take a larger distance, you'd be farther up the distance, but at a smaller angle. So I just keep it at this point and say three centimeters is my answer. And it turns out that's one of the acceptable answers to this problem. And that's how I, I would do the problem. Did they draw that picture for you? So good question. They gave you the picture. They gave you the not actual location of the images, but a general location of the images. They gave you the object, and that's all they gave you. And then they gave you the observer, but not the distance of the observer, but they gave you the 12 centimeters here. This is something that I drew myself to kind of help me solve the problem. And using the concept of the refractive distance from the image to the surface versus the object to the surface, and using that concept to solve the problem. So 12 centimeters is not the middle of the square? Not necessarily, no. No, it's just 12 centimeters from the corner. That's correct. Yep.